What you're about to hear is a Hopi Indian prophecy, and clearly he is speaking about Jacob, which is the Native Americans and also some of the colored people, and Esau, which is their white brother. And you're going to hear how Esau was in charge of the technological scientific things, and Jacob was responsible for the spiritual songs and hymns, things like that. And you'll also hear some amazing prophecies that have been passed down through oral tradition for hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of years. You will even hear him say that Jacob and Esau have the same mother. Notice he does not say that they have the same father. These two stone tablets were given in, in the hands of two brothers who had the same mother. But one of them had a very light complexion, and we refer, refer, to, refer to that young person or uh, older brother, a white brother, because his skin is white, whiter than the other one, who has a color of Mother Earth. It's, it's our native people have that color that was to, to carry this knowledge, to take hold of it and keep it. So there was a separation made. The, the one with a lighter complexion, a white brother, was instructed to go east along the edges of land to, to another land to take care of it and to use it and to develop things, to record things, to invent things, which he had done before. So that after he got so far, then he was to come back here to look for his younger brother who was left here to take care of this land in spiritual way with songs and prayer, preaching, fasting, meditation. He was to take care of this continent here in that fashion. So he required brothers to come with his invention to help him. When when they come together, the material and spirit will join. And together, they're supposed to take care of this land in a real good way, in accordance with the great spirit's instruction. But there is a danger, he said, because he gave us both sacred symbols, circle. There's no end to this uh, circle. Just like there's no end to this life if we follow that. So each one was receiving that same symbol. So a white brother went east, and then he came back. But if he started change that and bring another symbol, we know that he started changing things. He's going to do things in his own way. So those two symbols were known to us. So that when he comes, we place everything on his life to follow. This represents village life, religious life, and everyday life of our people to follow. There was no road there yet. But later, our white brother came, and he did bring inventions, he said. Now I'm just going to go through this quickly as possible. The inventions he will bring, one of the elders who, who was uh, the one that called this meeting was uh, Kachina Society leader. He was about 80 or 90 year old man, and he said, after others have told, at uh, four days, at the end, he said, my grandfather used to tell me that I may able to maybe get to see some of the inventions that our white brother will bring. When he comes, he's going to bring a carriage that will be pulled by animals, carrying people across our land. He said, I've seen that. That's the wagon. He said. Pretty soon, that's going to run by itself, carrying people across our land. And they said, that's automobile. And then pretty soon there's going to be a road in every direction from our mesas. You can see all kind of trails every direction. They have no word for pavement. In, so he said, one of these days you go down one of those trails, you can see water, water in front of you. Because, you know, in hot summer day, you actually see a mirage of water in front of you. That's the way they described there would be paved road all, of, all over the land. And uh, pretty soon we're going to want have, we want to have those things also. So some of our people start to go that way because great spirit warned us not to go too far with that. We can have them, but not to let this go and go up that way. So he said when, when that happened, then there will be a uh, time someone invent something that we, we will be talking to each other through cobweb. And he shook his head and said, I don't understand what that meant. 
It's in, it's in some young planetarium that that's a telephone line. You know, you look up in the sky, it looks like a, te- uh, a cobweb up there. We're talking to each other. And pretty soon, uh, there'll be a time we close everything in a room, talking, doors and windows. But way over the mountain someplace, them somewhere will be to- hearing us talking. And I can't understand that, he said. And the, again, and this one fella told him that that must be radio or TV. And then uh, these uh, peerage inventions will show where we are in this life as we go along. Then he said, there'll be road in the sky. And he shook his head. He said, I don't, how, I don't see how anybody could build a road way up in the sky where people will be traveling. But they found out that it was airplane that be having a road up there, people carrying people up there. So then he said, when that is fulfilled, there can be trouble on this earth. Because man has gone too far going that way. They're going to start fighting one another. They're going to be quarreling. They're going to be uh, trouble all over. Young people will not uh, respect for the elders. Or elders will just neglect their children and go all out for this and that. They're just not going to have any more respect of the things around of nature that's provided because we want to have those things and they're going to be like that and pretty soon one of these that has been commissioned by the great spirit over here will rise up and shake the world's real heart a warning to us now you people are not following the instructions that the great spirit told told you to follow and this is what's going to happen many life and property will be destroyed there There'll be world shaking events take place. Then it stopped for a while. Then we go on. Then another came along, more advanced thing will be invented. This time they said they're going to be start messing around with moon and stars. And they must know that someday somebody's going to get to the moon. They said uh, that if you ever get to the moon, don't bring anything down from the earth, from the moon down to earth. Because once you do that, then you are interfering with the balance of universe, nature, and everything going to be disrupted. And things that happen on Earth, you cannot control anymore. Even though you have all knowledge and scientific things, you can't. When earthquakes start shaking, you're going to be helpless. When a great wind becomes destructive, you're going to be helpless. This is what's going to happen here. So, but then we want many things there because there are other things going to be developed there. We began to see money, many money systems develop. We see the uh, new gadgets of all kinds being developed. And everybody wants to have a new car every year. We all work and strive, and we don't care how we get it. So we, we fight, and we struggle, and we do all that, and we forget the spiritual things. We forget ourselves, how we're connected to plate, the grass, trees, animals, clouds. We forget all those things, and we... We struggle and struggle and trying to get all this. And that, then there, this is the place where someone would invent what he termed gourd full of ashes. It's going to be, he went like that. And it's going to be so small, but it's going to be so powerful that if ever man, any time mankind ever allowed that to fall on the earth someplace, it is going to be so hot that it's going to boil oceans, rivers, it's going to burn everything to ashes. And he described what will happen when that ever took place. Part of it, much sickness and things will develop that man will not be able to cure some of those things. That is that it's going to happen here, between these two. Then there will be also another world second event take place that Another one stands up and says, now you people are not following the destruction. You're going too far away. Start destroying things. So they warn us again. And this term, this third one's coming up with much greater. This time there'll be someone's going to start farther away messing around with moon and stars. And the last thing he would invent would be a huge house that would be floating way up in the sky someplace, carrying people and things. When that is fulfilled, this old man said, then you better start learning how to live on, on this earth, how to survive, because the earthquake might hit 
certain areas very strong, some they knocked everything down. Or there may be a severe famine come along, or the a flood, or storm, lightning. Everything starts hitting us very strongly because uh, nature is going to be acting very strongly here. So this is where he said we're in there because by that time one of our own native people would join them to the, the, the others and tell their own people, forget your language, forget your ways, forget your songs, you come and follow us. Look, we got money, we got all this material gain, all these things and new TV, new cars, new this and that. So just forget about and come this way. And they will also try to influence many of our own people to go that way. But then they will advance in scientific things, inventions, but they're going to destroy themselves with what they invented if they're not careful. So now we're right in this period, they said. We are either go all out for this kind of thing and destroy ourselves or come back, search our spiritual instructions, search ourselves within us, something that should link us together. Because now we know that we are all alive. We are all linked together. Talk about God, talk about great spirit, but no one really see him yet. But we know there's something that keeps us alive. And that's why we call it the great spirit, the spirit within us, linked together with you and grass and animal, bird, everything. It's this air that we're all breathing right now. We're all linked together with that. So we are alive. We are living with this grass, animal, bird. Everything, we are all together because we are breathing this. Now, if we pollute this air too much, then we are also destroying ourselves with what we invented. Because they said we, we, we may come to that at this period when the sun will rise is blood red someday, sets blood red someday. And I've seen that. It's already polluted so much in the east and west coast that when the sun comes out, you can see it real bright red coming out, sun, blood red. So this is what uh, they said, the third, second one will shake us up real hard. Now we are coming to this last one. What we say is a purification of this continent here, because this is where the Hopi say that within this spiritual center, which would cover all this four corner state area, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. For some reason, I don't know whether the United States government knows this or not, but they make that states come together in that it's a very area where we refer to as a sacred area. Now we have that uh, drawing on a seal, a kachina, whichever has picked that up, they were to protect that area every, with every way they can, because that is the very heart of our Mother Earth, the spirit of our, our people, planted in there. And we must not disturb it in any way. We can go all around it, but if we go too far in this area, uh, then we destroy a lot of things in ourselves also. So this is the time where we're facing, according to Hopi, that we are now coming. A lot of us are going up to a material path. We, we're just forgetting the spiritual thing. We disturb nature so much. They're fighting and warring and they're quarreling and people with the same language. And they were testing out a lot of things in our own way because we got so, so smart, intelligent now that we're going to be start making people ourselves. Now, I found in, in record there, there are some people now trying to make people in test tubes, and they're eating pills. Now, I think we're going better ourselves. All those things are going to take place at this time. It's, it's known to the hope. And then also, the life would be uh, down to a level that was just before the other destruction came. There'll be restlessness all over. There'll be people here and there running here and there because we can get to here and there real fast now. And we just won't sit still anymore. We want to jump, we want to uh, do a lot of things, you know, unnecessary things because we have all these things in our hand. Now. And we're going to have power in our hand that eventually, if we misuse it or do it in a wrong manner or accidentally let go of it, then everything will go down or destroyed because this is what it meant. So we are looking for the spiritual people in these four areas. 
the last 15, 20 years, we find few elders still holding on, different native people. Their uh, sacred sun dances are reviving now, and ghost dances are reviving. And their sacred ceremonies in longhouses in New York, Six Nations Air Corps Confederacy are developing again, reviving. And those in the West Coast are developing. All over this continent, Native people are now coming together to, to hold on to this because that is our instruction. Now, our white brothers have come and is about to lead us into that way. So we are now coming back to, to our white brothers with this message, with this knowledge, because we are facing this last day of purification day. Now, I found it able to go on in this land. And this is what happened. And so we know that something has gone wrong so that all across the land our people are start destroying our native people's land and life and religion now that's coming to this period which powerful it would be the last place whether the, uh, the white brother realize it someday and start correcting and stopping and changing something because sooner or later fear of us going to come and bring about full cleansing of this earth because if you can't do it even you talk about religious, good moral principles, good government or principles, yet you can't stop these things, then these purifiers will have to do it with power and might because we will give them all the power to develop. Now, then whoever comes out, he will meet the Great Spirit again because here it, I find in the Bible and other says that I'm the first here. I have taken care of this land. I let you take care of it. I give an instruction. I go away for a while. I let you go on your way. Now, if some of you may follow it, some of you may turn away. But after this purification, whoever comes out, then I come and meet him again. And this time, this will be a long life again, renewing everything. All living people no matter what race will come together as one people like it was to start from there will be no more fighting over religion or or land will be open so that you will live out there without money system you will not be required to pay taxes you cannot uh, uh, grab everything uh, by somebody uh, like now you have certain area for yourself and to let everybody uh, stay away we deny one another everything. And we be like fruit trees out there, produce things. Because each one of us has a gift to give freely. Now, after this purification, if I invent something, you can take it and use it. And if you invent something, I can take it. I don't have to struggle to pay and pay to get it. It'll be free. So that's the way it's going to be from there on. And they may even speak one language again. But whose language is a question there, is that because after the Great Spirit is with us, there will be a new life we laid out by the purifier. Purifiers will cleanse this land. And whoever stood fast to this, even there may be one person remain up to this point, through that person's faith and courage, or those that come to help him to keep it, that, that many people will be saved to come out and meet the Great Spirit. So this Great Spirit, Purifier, and the one that's kept the faith, will lay out a new plan for all the rest of the people that survive. From there on, there'll be a peace, real peace, from there on. So, after many years of uh, knowledge along this line, about six or seven years later after they told me about these things, I was wondering about who are those people that's going to purify this land? How are they going to do it? So they explained to me, we have a gourd rattle that we still use in our ceremony. And that gourd rattle, rattle rep, represents the world. And one side, this figure is on the drawing. And another one is on this side. That we have gourd rattles. We still use them. The one old man told me, take a look. Whoever 
have this symbol in this world, Kunisekas, up two times. And it just came to me quickly. And I wondered, what nation ever shown something similar to this one? Because they will be very intelligent people. They're going to produce many inventions of all time. They're going to be so powerful that they're going to use that to shake us up real hard. And they're going to almost destroy themselves. But later, out of it, a new generation is going to rise. This time, they will know what to do in the right manner for the right purpose. Then around it, there's a sun symbol. Those people are very intelligent people that have that symbol. They have produced many things, invent many things. And they become powerful. And they also shake us up two times, I mean, second time with the help of another. These two have shook us up two times real hard, warning us. And they almost destroy themselves. But out of it, a new generation is coming, stronger, much better equipment, everything, powerful things going to be developed by these two people. Then the third one that will finally bring about purification of this land in this continent would be a man with red cap, red hat, or red cloak. Now, we do not know who that nation is or what people, but they say those people will have a large population and they will also have much scientific inventions of all type, very powerful nation going to be. So once you start moving, these others two have don't, will join him with all their power and might. The three of them are going to come here quickly together and nothing can stop them. This time they're going to come right here. They say even they're going to come here so fast they come here for breakfast. <laughs> now this is nice clear day today, calm, everything, nice. Tomorrow morning maybe we get up at breakfast time then the whole sky will be darkened. Old man said, I don't know what will cause the darkening of the sky. Then he said, the people will be raining from the sky. And in one day, they're going to get control of this whole continent. And they're going to cut us up into four sections. And they're going to look for a leader that still remains, a native leader still remaining to the spiritual path. And to him, they will gather people here to him. And they will say, now these people, I gave them the religion and the duty to produce things, to invent things, and to become powerful people. When they came here, what have they been doing to you? Now, suppose he was the last chief still remaining in this area. They will ask him, and they will say, well, those people have destroyed my people. They have taken care of and taken uh, everything from my uh, people, land, rivers and uh, hunting rights and everything that I use, they just took it away from me against my uh, opposition. Then those that have done that, what we call purification, would be the real wicked people. People who have taken advantage of them in that manner. These figures had no heads on them. That will be their supreme punishment. Because right in in daylight, right in public, they're going to weed out those bad people and they're going to chop their heads off, they said. And that is what they said will happen. That's first punishment. Then they say, what about uh, these people here? And he will look at them and said, well, at least they make an attempt to help us. They did try to do something for, to, to help us, protect us. And they will pull out all those people, they will know, you can't get away, they said, they'll have in some means of catching you. And they will bring those people, there'll be a lot of those people. Then they will say, look, you have disturbed this land, life, these people, you have polluted their rivers and land and everything, now you go and clean it up. And whoever survives out of that will be able to stay with the leader here. Then they would say, what about these people? These people have really suffered, been persecuted, laughed at, they've been punished, and they've been uh, beat up also because they really stood by me. And 
they will pull out those people and they will be brought to him and they will be respected. That is what they say will happen at this period by the people that has this symbol and man with red cap and red coat. They will come from each direction, from sun, where the sun rises. And they will come here quickly and they will have something to paralyze all man-made machine where everything come to a standstill. All power will go out. All man-made machine will come to a standstill. And we will be helpless. Then they just come and take it over. And this is what they will happen to by, by those people that are coming from the East direction. Now, if those people are commissioned by the Great Spirit to do that for the Great Spirit, if we can't clean it ourselves here, and if they fail, then the Great Spirit said there are another people coming from West direction. They'll be coming here for a long time. They're just taking this time slowly. They're coming and building up more power, more people, more invention, and all that. And they just kept coming. If these people doesn't come here to purify this for the Great Spirit, then this one will come. And they said, when that happened, don't get them on the housetop and watch because those people are coming from the west direction. There'll be millions of people coming up on the west coast like ants crawling up on the land. And they will have no mercy for anyone. They'll be very cruel and severe. They're not going to ask questions. They're just going to whip everything as they come. They're going to look for someone that will hold on to this spiritual path here. They're going to do that. This is what they said is going to happen. But there's two purifiers on both sides are coming to this continent here where we started from. And we came back. We, we just about to destroy ourselves, mess it up. We can't train ourselves up. Then these purifiers will have to do it. This is what they said will happen here. So whoever comes out, then we will meet the Great Spirit. But if not, if no one listens, then these elders, religious men, we go down into the kiva, go through our ceremony, then they go over a prayer to four corners of this earth, to the above and to the below, and said, all right, none of these, ch my children, my people have listened to me or helped me. Now you take over. That's when the cloud will rise like this. Lightning will strike two or three times all over this land, like 